Hello everyone, my name is Nicole Gregory. I'm here with OPTP and today we're going to show you five different ways to spice up your Pilates toe taps. Let's get started. The first way we're going to spice up our Pilates toe taps is by using the Pro Roller and the Pro Roller Arch. So I'm gonna lie down supine onto the Pro Roller. My head is in position on top of the Pro Roller Arch. So here, I'm not too far flexed, I'm not too far extended. I'm in that neutral position. So from here, we're gonna take our legs to a tabletop, placing my hands either out wide for more stability or in narrow if you wanna provide a more, uh, more of a challenge here. So here, you're gonna take your right leg down, tap the toe, left leg down, tap the toe. So you're tapping here 10 to 20 seconds, feeling your core activate. You can see how I'm moving, slightly shifting right and left because my core is working to keep me stable on the pro roller. My head is not too far extended or flexed because I have the arch there. So it keeps my neck in alignment. Now you can take your legs to tabletop and this provides more of a challenge. Keep your abs engaged. Now you're gonna tap down with both legs and pull up. You wanna inhale, lengthening out, exhale, Pull the thighs into the body. Inhale and exhale. Again, 10 to 20 seconds for this one. And that's a nice challenge using that pro roller and that pro roller arch. The second way we're going to spice up our Pilates toe taps is by using our pro roller super soft. It's very soft in its density and it's a nice challenge for the abdominals. So we're gonna lie on our back. We're gonna put our hands behind the pro roller Pro rollers behind our knees. We're gonna take our legs to tabletop. Your hip distance apart here. So you're gonna provide some counteractivity here by pulling in with your knees slightly and pushing into it with your hands. So we're gonna start by pulling, pushing the right leg, tapping the floor, but keeping the pro roller stable here. And then pushing into it, dropping the left toe down, bringing it up. You're dropping from the hip, so your hips remain square. You wanna do this for about 20 to 30 seconds, inhale and exhale, keeping that pro roller stable the entire time, not letting it shift. A couple more, and you can feel that deep abdominal engagement while you're using the pro roller. The third way we're going to spice up our Pilates toe taps is by using the Pro Soft Release Ball. It's a great self-massage tool, however, today we're gonna to use it as a tactile point to engage our hamstrings. We're gonna place it under our knee as we go on to tabletop, Lifting those legs, we're in a supine position. And here, squeezing into the ball, we're gonna drop from the hip, tapping the right toe down, pulling the leg back into tabletop. You wanna do this for about 20 to 30 seconds, making sure those knees are over the hips. I'm adjusting here, reaching back and forth. And as I'm squeezing into the ball, it's nice and soft, so I don't feel any pain there while doing this. It's just a great tactile point to engage that hamstring. The fourth way we're going to spice up our Pilates toe taps is by using the Franklin Method Smooth Balls. They're a great tool to use for a stability challenge and also a great feedback tool for keeping that posterior tilt. So we're gonna lie on our back, take the balls, place them underneath our sit bones. And then we're gonna lift our legs to tabletop, arms are along by your side, take an inhale, Tap the toes down to the floor. Exhale, draw the knees back over the hips. The entire time here, you wanna feel that core activating, but your ribs are closed because that feedback of the ball being underneath the sit bones is challenging your posterior tilt, keeping it there. And they're nice and soft here. Take an inhale and exhale, 20 to 30 seconds for this exercise. Challenging that deep core engagement. The fifth and final way we're going to spice up our Pilates toe taps is by using our pelvic rocker. So I'm positioned on it now, and it's a bowl-shaped tool that does two things. Provides that feedback to keep your abs engaged, giving you that posterior tilt, and also challenging your stability at the same time. You're gonna pull your legs to the tabletop and start to toe tap, simultaneously passing one leg past the other. Abs are on. Inhaling and exhaling. Then if you want to intensify the exercise, you wanna reach one leg and pull the opposite leg in, like a bicycle movement here. So I feel a little bit more shake, a little bit deeper into my abs now. My core is working a little harder. Inhale and exhale, do that for about 20 to 30 seconds for a nice challenge of the core. 
Hey everyone, I hope you enjoyed our five ways to spice up your Pilates toe taps. If you'd like to learn more about any of these tools, please go to OPTP.com. Thanks so much.